It's a gorgeous place. I hear a lot of birds, so I have to assume that they've kind of taken over. Um, from what I see over there, the power, the, there is no more meter. So there's no power to the house, which is obviously what I look for when an abandoned uh, house. What's interesting is that there is one or two broken windows, but I don't have to go, go into the broken windows because there's a front door that's wide open. So without further ado, let's go and have a look inside this gorgeous house, see if we can't find any treasures to show on video or any really interesting things to look at. Yeah, there are a lot of birds. I'm hoping it's not like the Havelock house where there was pigeon poop everywhere. So anyway, let's go see what we can find inside. All right. So here's the house. There's the meter, but nothing. And uh, here's the front door. And here we go. And here we go. And we're going to close the door. And what I'm going to do, make sure that nobody interrupts us while we're in here. Let's put this little thing right on there. And I'll just kind of close this up a little bit. I have to close it up tight. Oh, it had been upgraded to a new set. At one point, I love finding the old fuse boxes, so I hope there's still one around. Uh, I can tell you that there's a lot of debris from what I see here. Neat window on the door. And I'm not sure if those are tiles or a cushion floor, but if you look over here, it kind of looks just like a cushion floor. What is this? Computer 1000. I wonder what that was. I mean, games, it says, math, history, wow, a learning tool, apparently. Jewelry box there, let's go see what's inside of that. If there's anything at all, probably not. There we go. Oh, hang on. There we go. Now we can see that there's nothing in there, but it's a cute little cute little box and under this laptop computer from way back then it's this beautiful wooden crate that is a steel to sharpen knives or scissors with of course that's a hot top hmm. must have been some kind of a toolbox or something so there's some stuff over there too. Stairs to go upstairs are right there. So oh, and I love when they when they do that, you know that they that loop thing. Nice, not super fancy, but still really nice. Nice big old trunk in here. I don't know when the last people were here. One thing I never run short of is finding newspapers. That's for sure. So let's see. Well, this one says 1997. Whoa. Three arrested in beating death. That's not cool. Butter Buster's Cookbook Companion. I am listening, it says. Well, thank you for listening. Family Legal Guide. There's a pair of keys here, a set of keys for something. A cool pair of shades. And here's another, I'm not sure if that's a steel or what it, but it sure looks like one. Gloves. What's this? Oh, a receipt book. Um, lots of the paneling has come down. Ceiling is actually keeping up pretty okay, considering that there's been nobody here for quite a while. And there's a, another one of those kind of library things that I always find. That's awesome. So nice porcelain door handles. 
You know me with my wallpaper. I do love the wallpaper. There's one and there's two. I don't see if there's any more underneath. Nope, looks like there was only the two. So even if they had put more, maybe they were taking off layers as they were putting them on, or maybe they were just really happy with the color that they had. That's a trapdoor that leads into the basement, which I don't know if it's a basement or if it's a crawl space. I don't know yet. Some nice little paper, just a little kind of hallway thing. Let's start there here. Let's go. All right. Yeah, that goes into the basement. Oh my gosh, that's heavy. It won't close anymore. Not tight anyway. So this was the bathroom, apparently. Just right off of the living room. Uh, there's a bathtub. Doesn't look like a really long bathtub, but it's a smaller one. I don't see a toilet seat though. I just, oh, the toilet seat would have been there. There we go, it's been removed. Let me get my flashlight out here. See, the floors are really warped, which makes moving, opening and closing the doors kind of difficult. And here I am. My little hand and there's a cabinet up here. The cabinet is stuff in it. Well, mostly hotel soaps and stuff. That's interesting enough. I know that my daughter loves hotel room. What is it called? this cup? <laughs> no peeing on the floor, I guess. That's just plastic that I'm walking on. There's only the one pill in there. Don't know what it's for. Putting it right back. Okay. And I think it was probably last name Como at one point that lived here because that's what I see. National Geographic, Madidi, that is spectacular. Every house, yay! This is a pretty mirror. I like the uh, curtains too. Nice lace curtains. What is this? It's not, it's just like a little closet thing, but it seems empty. That must have been like an air freshener kind of thing you would put mothballs or beads in there and it would keep your closet free of bugs and stuff. I am not sure what this would have been. So there is no more plaster on the ceiling or on one of those walls. Actually that one right there. Oh okay and the floor right here. I don't know if you can see how it's spongy it is but it's very spongy and we've got some stuff growing <laughs> actually we got some kinds of a mushroom or a fungus or something growing there too that's odd never seen that in one of the houses that i've been in there's a nice kind of cushion floor there too that's interesting that there would be those mushrooms that's in here really old shoe bag for bowling i think the other bowling show was over there this carefully because the floor doesn't really seem like it's uh, super strong and uh, it seems a bit stronger on this side for whatever reason well this was a gorgeous piece of furniture at one point it was an actual wood inlay though, because if you can see, it was like a sticker because it's coming off. Sorry about my watch. See how it's, it's coming off there? If there is anything inside, there's no way I could open it anyway. But it doesn't look like there's anything inside. A lot of peach in the house. Very common color, of course, for this era. See, what I find interesting and disappointing at the same time is that 
these houses, because of the state that they're left in, with no heat, no power, no nothing, it's disappointing because when my daughter grows up, this house is not going to be here anymore for her to look at. It, it's going to be gone. There's no way that this house is going to stay just like this without the municipality getting involved at some point in tearing it down or a planned burning, you know, thing from the municipality. Just looking at some of the little candle holders in the window and stuff. So yeah, it's a little bit disappointing that this is going to be, you know, just last forever. But nobody really around to enjoy or restore. Okay, small kitchen counter, cupboard. I believe at one point there was... Americans here because I'm seeing like American presidents, American like Florida, uh, what is that called? A letter holder right here. I know it's upside down. Either that or they went to Florida and they really loved it. There's another door now. Oh, look at this gorgeous cushion floor. That's really nice. Love those little covers. And this is where the window that I kept seeing that was broken and I thought maybe I'd have to come in through here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to push it back in, try to seal the, do the window again. So hopefully we won't get too much stuff coming in here. Too many animals or whatever. Okay. <clears throat> a lot of mold, a lot of rot. Now this one here, obviously, I cannot go into. That floor is super duper not safe. So I'm just going to see if I can't reach in here because these are gorgeous, gorgeous drawers and stuff. Wood. Oh, no, there's nothing inside. No. It's like a pantry where they would hang their cups and mugs and stuff. And there's a little shelf up there. Nice little window. There's probably a sink there at one point. And here's some more shelves right here behind the door. And here we got a couple coats of paint because we got the gray and the brown and it's just flaking right off. Once again, the ceiling is gone. I might be able to find another way to get into that room without risking life and limb. Because oh, there's a living room I haven't gone into the living room just yet. Just testing the floor. Now this is a gorgeous, gorgeous wood stove. No, I don't want to force anything open. There's a really, really old hammer here. Well, I say really, really old. Maybe it isn't, but it sure looks old to me. What else? It's just plaster that's fallen off the walls. Find it everywhere. Those are some really nice shelf brackets. I see a lot of those, too. Okay, so... Here anyway. This is the room that was off of that that I couldn't because the floor was too rotten. Some stuff on the shelves. Deep breathe. My phone is saying low battery already. So I'm gonna try to head upstairs really quickly so that I don't miss anything. Of course, now that I know how open the door is, I can totally just come on in anytime I want, I suppose. More of those handles. Living room area. Internet for dummies, word in windows. Little sort of library happening here. Cameo cigarettes. Okay, and upstairs. 
is this? It's a photo album, but it's empty. That's nice. See how beautiful that was? Oh, was being the operative word, of course. The trunk. Is there anything in the trunk? No, there's just some really uh, interesting wallpaper. Hmm. Okay. And let's go upstairs. I'm just trying to move this dresser a little bit. Love these staircases. Gorgeous. Wow, huge, huge houses. So many doors and rooms. Gotta be careful, I see the clothes missing. It's a really thin bed. It's not twin. Some more books. Tic tac toe. Just some old lamps. There was some wallpaper. Nice. Some planks here for some shelves or something because there's those little holes in it. Across the way. Cute garbage can. More wallpaper. <laughs> Old fashioned laundry hamper. Nice cushion floor. It's really, really narrow and it's really not very long at all. Mats, maybe? No, those are actually old wallpapers. There you go. Now we know. Okay, how am I gonna get over here? Well, ooh, and there's an attic too. Oh, please, battery. Please last long enough to, for me to, to do the house. That's a nice old lamp. And there's another mirror. Yeah, I'm hearing stuff over there, which must be an animal or some kind. Yeah, I hear something over there. Sitting is gone. Huh? I don't want to get attacked by anything. There's some old shoes. Not sure what I'm hearing. Hello, whatever it is, you better hide. I don't want to see you, and you probably don't want to see me. Okay, don't see anything. Could have been up in the rafters. It says Old Forge. Some vacuum cleaners. Cushion floor. Lantern, or a light candle thing. Trivial Pursuit games. Clothing bag. Some more light fixtures over here. Nice chest, but there's nothing in them. Nice bottles and stuff. Okay. More stuff over there. Okay, so I gotta turn around. Been up here? Nope. Woohoo! Okay. Maybe this is holy to look at these steps. Those aren't steps. Wow. Hello. Oh, these stairs aren't very strong either. But there really isn't much to see up here. That's a, a lead weight. KNG Halifax. Some photograph photos, not photographs, no. I have no idea what that was. But it's big, whatever it is. Interesting. I don't know. Okay, now I have to try to get back downstairs without breaking these steps or my neck. There isn't any smell at all in here, uh, which is a little bit strange considering the state that the rooms are in, and there's no odor. Okay, so that was it for that. Went up into the attic, going back down the stairs. This probably isn't going to be a very long video since, well, as big as the house looks from the outside, <laughs> it's not that big on the inside. Oh, maybe it's a good thing since my battery is dying. 
So here we go. Yeah, I'm gonna go outside, do my final photograph of the house. And thank you all for coming with me. So let's go on outside and I want to do a quick, I'd like to do a quick walk around. beautiful house. Everything's going to be lost. Nobody seems to want to fix it. There's some carpet, but it's, it's, it is neat. I mean, can't really complain too much about the cleanliness. It's not so bad. I am going to get wood chips here. I'm in the long grass again. Door impossible to open because there's a nail where the handle should be. The doorknob, I should say, not the handle. This is just a back door here. And I could have gotten into this room another way. There we go. Uh, nice dresser, but there's nothing in it. Another nice stove. Wow. So many gorgeous things, huh? Abandoned. Nobody wants them because they're not new. But I find them extremely interesting. And very much fun to look at. So, there you go. I love these doors that are just made out of wood slats put together. A little closet. Well, this is neat. Right on. All right, so, if we use the in here, just finished this house. Sorry about the sunglasses. I dislike it when people talk to me and they have sunglasses on. But it's so sunny. You know what? I don't like it. So I won't do it. Okay. Hear the birds? See, that's... Yeah, I'm going to show you behind me here. See on the roof there? That's where all the birds are getting in. Because there's no more roof. So, uh, yeah. Heading on back out to my car. Really happy I was able to get in here. The basement, there was just nothing in it. When I took a quick peek, it was really dark. But nothing, uh, just rocks. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming with me on this tour. Please like and subscribe. And uh, <laughs> no wait till this big machine passes. Oh, that's an old truck cool it's an old chev awesome anyway so thank you so much for coming with me on this tour i hope you had a great time it wasn't a very long one but it's still one of the houses that i've been wanting to get into for a while so it's nice when you can just walk right in all right take care everybody stay curious and uh, this is for signing off